Watch Dogs, a hyped game from Ubisoft, a tech thriller based on the exploits of hacker Aiden Pierce and his story of mystery and revenge. Though it wasn't a great game, it was a good game and had satisfying moments and good cinematic feel. While there aren't any real standout items or characters in the single installment of a potential new series, there's one distinct item worth looking at, Aiden's jacket. At first glance, Aiden's jacket is a simple brown trench coat, but the sheer amount of time spent looking at it from behind leaves distinct features in your mind. The sharp diamond shaped seams representing the Fox logo, the long, rugged fabric, the dangling belt, even the orange underlayer. Sure, you could buy other colour schemes, but the default brown is what I remember most from Aiden. Unsurprisingly, you can buy jackets that replicate this look, and you too can be a master hacker. Or not. Normally, I'd look at Ubi Workshop for Ubisoft merchandise, and they do have an Aiden Pierce jacket. It costs 1200 US dollars. Yeah. I'm assuming this is a little out of your budget. In fairness, it's high quality leather and it's a deluxe limited edition item, and the reviews seem favourable. But something this expensive? I don't think I'd wear it. Fortunately, there are cheaper options, and arguably these are actually better. Mustard brand produces the aptly named Vigilante Jacket. There are actually two versions, the original one that I have and Vigilante 2.0, which is around 20cm longer. This small change is subtle but important, which I'll mention later. I should note that as of this video, the original Vigilante is on sale for 99 euros or 120 US dollars. The normal pricing, which version 2.0 has, is 159 euro, which is 180 US dollars. So, what does this jacket have to offer? What you get is a pretty functional, practical jacket. I've had some mixed feelings about some of Mustard Brand's products, but this one is a solid recommendation. It's simple and comfortable. The jacket is almost entirely dark brown, although different patches on the jacket are different shades, which gives it some nice depth. The material feels rough and tough, not shiny leather but of a reasonable thickness for outer wear. The material for the outside is a blend of cotton and polyester, with different materials for the inside and the sleeves. The manufacturing of this design is very good. The fabric feels just right, with plenty of space on the inside. This is something Aiden would probably wear rather than a deluxe leather jacket. I mentioned earlier that the original Vigilante is around 20cm shorter than the redesigned 2.0. I'm wearing a medium sized jacket and I'm 5 foot 4 or 164cm tall. The jacket is substantially above my knees, which is rather short compared to Aiden's jacket. I never actually noticed this and never had a problem though you may find a longer jacket more appealing, especially if it's the only one available. As you may have noticed, the inside of the jacket is a bright orange. This is the same as Aiden's jacket, and it's a nice contrast when it's seen under the collar and cuffs. The jacket can be closed by a zipper. The placement of the zipper is actually rather low, making it kind of awkward to do up, and most of the time I prefer to ignore it. It doesn't feel too restrictive, but it may be more of a hassle and looks a little too straight. The belt can be looped and tightened as with most conventional trench coat designs, although there aren't enough holes in the belt for a tight fit. If anything, the belt is just for a cosmetic look and is meant to be left undone, just like the way Aiden wears it. The collar can be done up as well, although it doesn't feel like it's meant to be. Of course, you have the single chest strap. This is quite distinct in Aiden's costume design. This one is a simple velcro pad. Although there are various bits and buckles, I prefer wearing it the way Aiden does. Pop a couple of buttons, pull the strap, and you're done. There is practically no branding on the jacket. For those who have played the game, the distinctive features are the belt and the diamond stitch pattern on the back. This makes it subtle, yet very obvious for those who know what to look for, and the stitch pattern is just clear enough to make it noticeable. 
For those who have seen my previous reviews, I make a big fuss about pockets. In my opinion, the best part of the Vigilante jacket is the pockets. They are just the right size and the right placement. The pockets are at hip height rather than waist height and are angled forwards for comfortable hand placement. This makes walking around with hands in your pocket feel natural and you can of course place items in these pockets with great ease. In addition, there is a large inside pocket on the right side and a smaller zipper pocket on the left. Underneath this pocket is a button with the Watchdog's Signal logo. There are a few small problems I've had with the jacket. Firstly, the jacket is surprisingly noisy. The loose belt buckle tends to click when you move around, making it inappropriate if you're trying to sneak around. The long, loose belts can also get caught in things. I've had one ripped off because someone sat on it. Now, considering that Watch Dogs is a far less popular franchise than Assassin's Creed, I don't imagine there'll be a huge clamour for Watch Dogs merchandise. So, I'm not going to really push the branding as much. It is a very clean jacket design. There's no real branding, no real logos on the jacket which make it stand out. But anyone who has played Watch Dogs will immediately recognise this jacket. Which is a surprise considering that the jacket is not particularly outstanding design. It's a fairly plain brown trench coat style jacket. It does have the unique uh, seams, especially the foxes on the back. Um, it has the cuffs which are very apparent in the Watch Dogs game. Um, especially when you pull your phone and start texting people. So people who've played the game will recognise the jacket, but to everybody else it's just a plain ordinary jacket. Now for a long time this has been my go-to jacket. It's something I literally leave on my chair and pick up and put on if I've got nothing else to wear. Um, it's something you can wear for most occasions like Aiden Pierce would. You can wear it shopping, you can wear it going out, you can wear it to work. It's just a generally sound design which doesn't stand out in any way. Um, I'll, just, I'll just leave it here, I'll just pop on a button, uh, hit the velcro and I'm ready to go. Um, the other reason why I really like this, the big deep pockets. They're the perfect height. In fact, if there's one reason I love this jacket more than anything else, it's the pockets. A lot of the merchandise have pretty awkwardly placed pockets or they're um, unzippable or they're too small. This one, it's just right. It's the right um, height to put your hands in comfortably. Um, you can walk around normally with your hands in your pocket. And because it's so big, you can place a lot of things in there, your keys, your notepad, your phone. It is a very comfortable jacket, and that's the big selling point. Now, the material is fairly thin, so it's not a particularly warm jacket. Um, it's fine for autumn or spring kind of weather, but for winter, you may want to have an extra layer inside, because it's not particularly well insulated. So it's not a winter jacket, but it, it can be an outer layer, so it's pretty good for that reason. One advantage that this jacket has over the Yubi Workshop counterpart is that it is a much cheaper jacket. Uh, but the fact that it is a light polyester layer means that I'm not going to be as fussy about what I'm doing. So I can rough it up, I can get a bit dirty, and I'm not going to care as much. Whereas if I'm paying for like a $1,000 leather jacket, then I'm going to be a lot more careful about what I'm wearing it for. So in terms of if, if Aiden Pierce had to choose one, he'd probably pick this one. My overall comment on this jacket, it's very comfortable. It's a great all-purpose jacket which you can wear for almost any reason and it is a nice feeling and fitting jacket. I wouldn't buy this for the branding. Uh, again, Watch Dogs is not a particularly huge brand. People who've played the game will recognize it, but it's not why I would have bought it. It is a good, comfortable, well-designed jacket and I would recommend this just for anybody. Anyway, hope you found this review helpful. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.